Um, could you give an example of your day when you were about 12? I'm assuming, you know, we pulled you out at, I think you were 13 at the beginning of seventh grade, and we realized you just weren't, you know, we felt you were falling through the cracks rapidly, and you thought you were dumb because you were starting to compare yourself to others, and um, organization was always an issue back then. So what was your day like, um, you know, after you came back home? After I came back to homeschooling when I was about 12. Okay. There was a newborn. In yeah, there was so a newborn at home. Exciting. That was fun. Um, that's a great, man, that's a great education. Oh, yeah. Child care, <laughs> learning how to take care of a child. How many adults don't know how to do that? Um, so my brother and I were homeschooling together. Uh, he's two years younger than me, but we were doing the same curriculum because he, he's smart. <laughs> so uh, I would wake up and he would wake up when around like nine or ten. Yeah, yeah it was eight or nine. He didn't let us sleep in too long. No. But at nine or ten we'd wake up and eat breakfast and then we would start in on our curriculum. Um, we had a big binder out here. We used the sunlight curriculum. So everything was already written out for us, what we had to do. Mm -hmm. And it would be we were working through the world history at that time. So it would be read several chapters of this book, and read several chapters of that book, and then a few chapters of a textbook. So that would take a couple hours. We would, I, I loved reading, so it was no problem. I would sit down and I was excited to read the books. I probably had already read ahead in half of the, the nonfiction one, or the fiction ones. I probably had already read ahead. Mm -hmm. And then, um, so that would take a couple hours. We would read that. And then you had assignments for us that were right out of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. So we would have very few of them. But not, not a lot of yeah, assignments. I think I wrote a paper about how mm -hmm. castles are built. And then we did we did grammar. Mm -hmm. um, we did a lot of like writing. We did poetry and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But mostly it was reading, 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 but which is what were, I liked. You guys were both in Bible study, uh, Bible quizzing. Oh and yes. So there were times when you said like, we have a quiz coming out. Can we just? <coughs> can we just? study this week you know yeah we did um, competitive Bible quizzing which is um, a tournament and it's a, through the school year so we would do practice once a week with our church and once a month we would have a tournament and whenever we had a big tournament coming up I would spend the entire day studying for it mm -hmm. because I wanted to win I wanted to compete well so I would just be reading the same chapter of the Bible over and over Memorizing. writing it out all yeah. kinds of stuff yeah so she would uh, we would forget the regular homework for the day and just do that and we would compete really well at the competitions that way. Mm -hmm. And um, what better education really than yeah. memorizing massive amounts of scripture, you know, yeah. that's a good education right there. And we did a lot of outside stuff. Um, mm -hmm. My cousins would come over, the public school cousins would come over a lot after school. Mm -hmm. We would go out and catch frogs in the pond and we caught a ton of turtles and um, we Oh, we did a melty bead stand. So <laughs> we had our own like small business that we started. The four cousins, um, we had we would make these plastic melty bead things and sell them on the side of the road. And we made over a hundred dollars that summer. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Well, thanks for watching this video. I'm going to put up more videos answering more of your questions. So please make sure you like and you subscribe and leave more questions for me in the comments below.